One important thing is how do we handle our hose? It is important to make sure you handle your hose properly. The reason why is, is because otherwise we can do a lot of time of fighting hose. The one thing is, is the very first thing is, is when we first get here, we want to pull this hose straight off and come all the way in the back. We don't want to put a big pile here in the middle of the yard. That is a big no-no. That is something that just takes you more time and more effort. So we want to pull that hose all the way back here in the backyard. And sometimes this yard's a little bit harder because we have this big hill that goes straight up this hill here. But we want to pull it far enough here so that way it will reach to that corner. So that way we have a nice straight line to the hose and we can go down here. So that way when we start soaping, we can soap on this side here. We're gonna work our way here. We're gonna soap all, we're gonna start on that side. We're gonna soap all the way to here. Once we get to here, we're gonna go turn off our soap or we're gonna hit the remote, turn off our soap. And our line still has soap from there all the way here, which will take about 30 to 40 seconds to clear that out. So when we are walking back, you know, we're not gonna just put our gun down here and spray soap and just let it go that way. The best thing to do is, is obviously if you've hit anything on there, you wanna hit any green spots or the best thing to do after that is, is hit that gutter all the way back down through there. So then that way, by the time you get down here to the end down here, then we can start rinsing. So then we're gonna rinse, and we're gonna rinse. And then we're, after we're done rinsing and we're to this point, now we gotta go turn our soap on, right? To do this here. So what we wanna do is, is grab the hose and the gun, and I'll show a little bit more of this. And when we're walking up here to go turn on our soap, this is a good time that we can water all of our plants, all of our stuff on this side here and there. Then we can go to the truck and turn off the soap or turn on the soap. So now we're ready to soap this side. I mean, you can see we're dragging all the hose here. So now we can go do the front and that way it makes life a lot easier and it's not getting all tangled up and we're not causing issues with our flowers here. And so we're gonna pull it across here, make sure we can get enough to the house. And again, hose management is something that is very important. So you can see he pulled enough to make sure that he can get all the way back to this side of the house. Uh, so the next thing is, is you would do the front here and, and go from there. So one thing that we wanna do too is when we're rolling up our hose at the end of the job, if we do it like we said of starting there, coming back, and even this right here is pretty good and it'll go straight onto our truck. The other thing is we wanna make sure is, is that we take off our gun or we bring back the other end to this section here because you gotta remember that this little ball valve here and the gun and all the other stuff is about a hundred dollars so we don't want it going bouncing across the yard and if we allow it to go bouncing across the yard and it breaks now we're not able to clean so these are the reasons why we really want to make sure that we take care of our equipment because you know it's one thing that we just made this house but if we break our equipment then we're not going to the next house we definitely want to make sure that we take care of our stuff so that way when it's all done we're good to go for the next job